Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com on a Tuesday, Tuesday the 10th of October 2017. We are doing XR Football. So you saw on your screen right there, XR Football. Pick your team number seven from jazbeeshobbyland.com. I don't know where I set the focus. Oh, there it is right there. So there's everyone. Greg Tracy with the last spot mojo, Cleveland Browns. Appreciate that. There's everybody else. Thanks for getting in, everyone. All 15 boxes from a fresh case from jazbeeshobbyland.com. We have more, so I'll be posting another one after this break. XR Football has been pretty popular on the site. Sure, we'll do more of these. There we go. There's all 15 boxes. Let's get the camera leveled down a little bit. And here we go. Good luck. Two packs per box, seven cards per pack. So, just as a reminder, we're looking for two autographs. There. Everything ships in this stuff too. So all the parallels, the short prints, and insert cards that you see will all ship. All right, good luck. We're going to start off with a randomizer. We'll do that at the end of the break. There's Mirror, John Ross, and Deshaun Jackson. 20 out of 25. That'll be between the Bengals, Bill Anton, and the Buccaneers. That'll be Lee. Nice. Let's see if I could bring the focus up a little bit closer so we can get a little more detail on this. Stand by here. Let me maybe right about there. All right. Right about there should be good. All right. We've got Marcus Williams, 136 and a 299. There you go. You get a little more detail. So all of these will, uh, the serial number cards will sleeve up. And we'll top load after this break. There's Doug Baldwin, 63 out of 75 for the Seahawks. So the Marcus Williams goes to Lee and the Saints. Doug Baldwin, the Seahawks, that'll also be for Lee Cheeseman. And then these base cards here will slide over here. And our first hit will be for the Bills. 23 out of 25, Jersey and Auto. Nathan Peterman, Mr. Peterman. That goes to Lee Cheeseman and the Bills. Lee's got a lot of teams in this one. Nice start. On this side, we've got Joey Bosa to 299. For the Browns, out of 199, Jabril Peppers and the Dog Pound. There you go. A couple base cards, another refractor base card. And for the Panthers, 32 out of 49, Luminous Endorsements, Curtis Samuel. Carolina Panthers, Lee Cheeseman with that one. Carolina seems to be rolling along nicely with a healthy Cam Newton. And the rookie jumbo materials, Josh Reynolds. 10 out of 10. Nice one for Lena and the Rams. So let's put this in a larger top loader here. This size is a lot better. There we go. Nice one, Lena. And that was box number one. Next box. Illustrious Jarvis Landry, 60 out of 99. Tyler Eifert, 299. I'll say that's a catch. I'll give that a catch, Bengals. There's Ryan Kerrigan, 40 out of 75. 
part of that great Redskins defensive front. No more Mike. No more Mike Lennon. Seems like. There's Cam Robinson and Triple Relic and Autograph. Rookie Triple Swatch. Jamal Williams, 38 out of 99. All right, there's Mariota at a 299. Should be back in action next week. Jordan Willis at a 199 for the Bengals. Looks like we got some base cards and some points coming up. I'll be randomized to one person in the break, along with that mirrored card over here. And Curtis Samuel again, 40 out of 49. Rookie Jumbo Materials for the Panthers. Lee Cheeseman with the Panthers. Next box. So what were the, uh, I feel like my, I feel like I don't remember week five of the football season very well. Um, I feel like, I don't know why. I think my, I think my head has been in baseball mode uh, over the weekend. But what were some of the uh, big story, you guys tell me, what were some of the big storylines of the, uh, of week five? I know Odell Beckham Jr., Big injury and a big blow to the Giants. My Raiders did not do well. I did see that game. It's like more points coming up too. So you guys tell me. Demarcus Walker out of 299. What what stood out to you in week five? There's a woozy out of 199. And some base cards. Then we've got Jersey Auto, D.D. Westbrook. 90 out of 99. Jaguars. That'll be for Anthony T. Sean saying Deshaun Watson went off again. But in a loss, this is true, yeah. There's Notorious, Dak Prescott, to 99. Yeah, Chiefs undefeated. Chiefs are looking good. Out of 299, Clay Matthews. Oh, right. I forgot about that. The J.J. Watt injury. Out of 199, Carson Palmer. Yeah, he's pretty much out for the season, right? It's not good for J.J. Watt. I think a lot of injuries for him in recent years. It's Chad Hansen. Some more points again. We'll randomize that. And D.D. Westbrook, 6 out of 49. By the way, folks, just as a note, um, this is something I might start doing more often. Um, I'm going to do winner take all on these points, right? Because if you just get 150 points, it's not going to really do much for you. 250 points alone might not do much for you, but if you add these together, you know, and if there's other points that come out, you might actually be able to uh, to get something nice in the uh, in the reward store. So, just letting you know, everyone. So I'm going to I'm just going to combine those together. All right, there's Gronk at a 299. Yeah, Rick, I still I need to. I forgot. I'm glad you reminded me. I have to send you break credit for the for winning the Jaspies Pick'em Week this week. There's Sagan Yan at a 199 for the five and O Chiefs. Some base cards. I think I remember looking at that going Rick again. Rick again. Out of 199, Ryan Anderson Redskins. Oh, thanks, Jared. Yeah, I, I I realized I should we should have done that. Like unless there's like unless we get like. I'll I'll play it by ear, but unless we get like a thousand points or something like that, then maybe I'll I'll do that separately. If we get like a thousand and then one, no, you know what? I'll still put them together. Screw it. Thirty-three. Yeah. Going forward, folks. I'm just gonna not that we see points too often, but going forward, Rodney with the Redskins. By the way, we'll just combine the points all into one. Winner take all in the points. Ninety-five out of ninety-nine. Zay Jones. Because otherwise it's a hassle, right? Because you're like, what do I do with 150 points? I could get like a random relic card. I could try to sell it for like a little bit. Bills, that'll go to Lee. But in the end, it's sort of a hassle. But 
if you put them all together, you might actually might actually be worth it. 45 out of 49, AJ Green, illustrious. Store is actually not so bad if you have a decent amount of points. The reward store. 215 out of 299, Devonta Freeman. Yeah, did see that as well. I didn't hear about Marshall until much later, though. 8 out of 75, Vaughn Miller for the Broncos. Yeah, Odell Beckham Jr., Dunskies. And then Brandon Marshall, ankle injury, done. Um, is Harris injured, too? There's Jared Davis. And, wow, one of one rookie triple swatch. Three pieces of the pigskin and D.D. Westbrook's autograph. Nice one for Anthony T. and the Jaguars. Our first train whistle of the week. Nice one of one. Anthony, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Nice. So, yeah, that was, that was a nice hit. Um, yeah, so Sterling Shepard is really the only wide receiver left, right? Maybe with, like, one other guy. So, like, if you're, th if you're talking fantasy football, I'm not sure, is that a good thing or a bad thing? You know, Sterling Shepard now will get the attention of, like, the top uh, cornerback from each defense. So he's going to get all the attention, which means that you got to hope that the Giants, it's going to be an ugly couple weeks unless the Giants decide, oh, like, we'll have Wayne Gallman or Paul Perkins try to establish some kind of running game to open up the passing game. I, I mean, what are you going to do? What about... Evan Ingram might might benefit too. Nine out of ten extreme rookies. Chris Godwin for the Buccaneers. That'll be for Lee. There's Matt Forte to two ninety nine. So Rick saying, oh, they're gonna sign Hakeem Nix, Manningham, and Ruben Randall, like the old days. One seventy seven out of one ninety nine. Aaron Rodgers, Packers. Oh, CO Turtle says, what about Ocho Cinco? Get Ocho Cinco in the mix. Why not? There's Taiwan Taylor. Nice. 61 out of 75 on Taiwan Taylor. Jersey and auto. Uh, ben. There you go. Ben with the uh, Titans. Ben with his Titans. Yeah, get some David Tyree up in there. There's Jordan Howard to 299. There's poor J.J. Watt out of 199. More injury issues for him. And there's oh, poor Dalvin Cook. 13 out of 25 luminous endorsements, Dalvin Cook. That'll go to the Vikings. That goes to Chris Soche. We'll, we'll see how he bounces back. The rehab is the key for that. Two out of ten, Cam Newton. Three color patch. Why not? Imagine if, uh, imagine if they, uh, imagine if uh, Josh Gordon gets uh, gets reinstated, then get gets released by the Browns. Giants pick him up. Why not, right? KT says Randy Moss. Yeah, why not? Get Randy Moss out there, too. Randy Moss looks like he can still play. He looks pretty good. Like you see him on TV, he still looks pretty good. Ooh, there's a printing plate down there. Right there, a printing plate. Where, where's where's Victor Cruz? Well, Rick, why not just get Victor Cruz up in that mix too? Is he injured again this season? I forget what happened to him. Alshon Jeffrey to 199. Eagles. Lee. Carlos Hyde. Niners. Lee. Got a few base cards right here. And then for the Texans, we've got Zach Cunningham. 121 out of 199. He's a bear and he's hurt. Shocking news for Victor Cruz. 
Out of 199, Zach Cunningham autograph. That'll go to the Texans, Lee Cheeseman with that one. Lee having a nice break. He's got a lot of teams. Rick's going to go old school with Mike Sherrard. 25, I don't, I don't even remember Mike Sherrard. 25 out of 25, John Ross the third. Bengals, that'll go to Bill Anton. 3 out of 15, Alan Hearns and D.D. Westbrook. So this will obviously not be randomized, but a mirrored card. Oh, is Cruz a free agent? Did they release him? Yeah, Sean's asking the same thing, too. 18 out of 299, Ruben Foster. Oh, just pick up, pick up Victor Cruz. And then the plate is Kevin King for the Packers. Nice one for Ed. Ed with the one of one. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Nice. Some base cards and more Dalvin Cook. Patch auto, 49 out of 49 for Dalvin Cook. Uh, he'll be back. He's young, ACL injuries, not the end of the world anymore. Yeah, he's a running back. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be an issue for him, but but if he works hard, I think that that's what I heard from from like AP Adrian Peterson's like similar or any running back with similar knee issues and and how they come like the surgery is pretty is pretty uh pretty routine from what I hear. You know, you, you fix up the ACL, there you go. But it's it's how hard you work in rehab. I think is what people say. Can you get your explosiveness back? Can you get your your confidence back in that knee to plant on that knee? Another printing plate coming up. Um, so there's that question. And that's uh, that's all depends on on Dalvin Cook. He's young enough where he should be able to make that kind of bounce back. Mike Glennon seems like he's done, right? Mitch Trubisky looked okay. Looked pretty solid actually, out of 199. I don't think racked it didn't rack up a lot of yards or anything like that, but still looked pretty solid. Out of 299, T's Tabor for the Lions. So that's it. Quarterback of the future, Mitch Trubisky. Dual relic, dual auto. Nice. Both Colts. Frank Gore and Return of the Mac, Marlon Mack. Three out of ten on that one. Nice. Colts. Anthony T. It's a nice break for you. That one of one DD Westbrook and now that dual relic, dual auto. And we got Dan the Man Marino. Maximal material. 7 out of 10. Nice. Dolphins. James Davidson with the Dolphins. That's a nice one. Nice. Todd Gurley to 299. Rick said he's been playing a lot of fancy football since 94. So you know a lot of old scrubs. Matt Stafford. He's your printing plate. Lions. Lee Cheeseman. That one's for you. All aboard. The Big Hit Express. Woo woo. There it is. Nice. Couple train whistles. Kind of gets the week started off on a good foot. You know what I mean? Gets people pumped up. More Nathan Peterman, 46 out of 75, jersey and auto, lead with the Bills. So, Rick, when you're playing fancy football in 94, like, so you, you got, like, a commissioner actually, like, hand tallying by all the box scores the next day, right? Is that how you did it? There's also, some of you may remember, and I only vaguely remember this, four out of five. That's going to be a train whistle at the end. Um was when you, uh, I think Sporting News actually had something where you actually faxed in your lineups. There'd be like an update every week or something like that. Maybe that was only for baseball, but. Yeah, there you go. Newspapers and math. Two things we don't do anymore, Rick. Newspapers, what? What are those? Uh, we've we've got EA Scully in the Breakers TV screen, uh, Breakers TV slash Jaspi stream, saying fancy football league commissioner in the '90s pre-internet. <laughs> How did that work? Was your math good? Out of two ninety nine, because Rick in the YouTube stream is saying, yeah, it was newspapers and math and a lot of arguing. Man, imagine imagine doing stat corrections then.
LaShawn McCoy. I'll bet th th we have a lot of younger kids who watch. They're probably saying, newspaper? Fancy football by hand? How do you... Math? Just use a calculator. Uh, 38 out of 99. Anything you can't do on a smartphone. Uh, there's our Darius. <laughs> right. Scully saying uh, box scores and a notebook and actually meeting people and talking face to face. Right. And those are the days. Trades done by right. Trades done by calling from the phone on the wall, not even cordless phones. Phone that's on the wall with a big long curly Q cord that you have to wrap all the way around like the to get out of the kitchen, get into the living room so you can actually have some quiet time. There's Khalil Mack for my Raiders. And we've got Cooper Cup, Jersey and Auto. Thirteen out of twenty five. Those are the days before fantasy football was even like, like a thing, you know. I I did when I was really young. We we did um, did I did a little bit of fantasy baseball with like my friend's parents, you know, who who would like his like someone's uncle would do it all by hand. Lena, that one's yours, the Rams. Um, so it's pretty. It was pretty crazy. I I do love the fantasy sports though. Uh, there's Jamal Williams for the Packers, 37 out of 49. Luminous endorsements. Packers with the big finish. Yeah, Rick saying he had to wait for the West Coast scores the next day. Oh, what a hassle. Rookie Jumbo material, 34 out of 49. Like, kids, the kids that are watching, wrap your head around this. Like, a lot of times, you know... I guess Sports Center's been around, like ESPN's been around for a while, but like there used to not be like a West Coast Sports Center. There used to not be like a late night Sports Center. Both of those Packers go to Ed Aaron's, by the way. Sorry, I'm all distracted chit chatting about all this. Um, but there was no like late night like thing. Like by the time if you're on the East Coast waiting for West Coast scores, you did have to wait until the next day because local news is done by then. Because if you think about it. It, you know, if there's a West Coast night game, this is especially for baseball, but if there's like a, for NFL, if there's a West Coast Sunday night game or something like that, it's not ending until a lot later. You're, you're passed out. You're going to bed. Or if there's like a West Coast baseball game, middle of the week, forget about it. Like you're not staying up for like Angels Mariners, you know, just to find out what happened there. Local news by then is pretty much done. Right, and, you know, maybe talk radio, another printing plate. Talk radio probably wasn't as big with, with you know, especially over the midnight hour or something like that. You're not having ESPN all night, Sports Center all night on the radio. Extreme Rookies, Bengals. Mike Evans, 299. So it's crazy. It's, it's, it's amazing how, how if you wrap your head around it, and it wasn't that long ago, you know, where, where yeah. Scully saying in the YouTube or the Breakers TV stream, he's saying even at a he even had a coach position where you picked a head coach, you got a point for a win, two points for a road win, and a bonus point from a come from behind. Right, the box score would just say late, and you just had to hear about it the next day. Crazy. Kenny G. Nine out of twenty-five triple relic and nice auto, nice saxy hit for Lee Cheeseman and the Lions. Late, just be blank spots in the box score. Just have to wait till the next day. Imagine with the kids these days and how impatient they are. If you have to wait for sports scores the next day, there'd be riots. If anyone, for those of you who have kids uh, that are in like that sort of the sort of late elementary school, junior high school wheelhouse where they're just really getting into sports right now, you should do that to them one day. Do like a do a do a time machine day and pretend like this is how this is how your mom and dad used to look up sports. Just make them wait. Take away the iPad. Take away the laptops. Take away the computer. Take away the phones. And just make them wait till the next day. See if they freak out. They probably would. Gary Ann Connolly for the Raiders. I actually have a decent secondary, believe it or not. They're just offense, just not clicking. That goes to my Raiders. Who has got my Raiders? Rick Hunt. There you go, Rick. As we were chit chatting, here's Gary Ann Connolly for the Raiders. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo! Nice one of one. Arthur, what's going on, man? 
Scully also saying that, hey, ironically, you learn who was good by looking at the backs of their baseball or football cards. Imagine that. Now it's just this. Although he's a rookie, so there's not too many pro stats there. Another one for the uh, winner-take-all points. One out of 75, poor Odell Beckham Jr. The kid looked like he was in pain. That was not good. His season's done, done as well. All right, there's OBJ for the Giants. Uh, that will go to, let's slide these over. Giants, who has the Giants for this one? Lee? No, David Kiss. David Kiss with the Giants. There's only one pack of this. Yell at Panini. Hey, you're welcome, Rick. They, the boxes do say on average. That's how they get you. Well, sir, it is on average. 94 out of 99, notorious Cam Newton, who looks like he's healthy, which seems to be the most important thing, and back on track, Panthers, Lee. We got Trent Taylor out of 299, Niners. Julio out of 199 for the Falcons, Jacob. A few base cards in the hits. It's more Kenny G, you can tell by his nice auto. 70 out of 99, rookie triple swatch. Kenny Galladay with, uh, for Lee. I know, maybe they were like, we're going to give you three pr printing plates, we'll take a pack out. Arthur saying terrible weekend for him. Oh, the truck broke down, Arthur. Well, his first of all, his Cowboys lost. The Diamondbacks got swept by these guys. But the truck breaking down. Oh, I don't like the sound of that, Arthur. That actually costs like money. Money that could go into case breaks. Yeah, I don't want the truck to break down, but the rest is okay. Yeah, <laughs> Jason Jaspi's like, rest is okay. But he doesn't want your truck to break down. That's not good. All right, Rick is asking everybody, who remembers Monday Night Baseball when it was rare to see AL games, like you, if you lived in an NL market? You had to watch This Week in Baseball to see star players. Some of you, some of you may remember Twib. One out of 49, Evan Ingram, Rob Gronkowski. If Evan Ingram ends up like Rob Gronkowski, that'd be nice. Yep, Scully in the Breakers.TV stream saying, yeah, Twib on Saturday mornings with Mel Allen at a two ninety nine. That's that's like stuff I remember like <laughs> very vaguely as a child. There's Des Bryant for the Cowboy. I feel like there was. I have a vague memory of this. Someone, I'm sure someone can can remind me of this. Oh, look at this, Ben. First of all, let's go. We're doing breaks, of course. Fourteen out of ninety nine. Corey Davis, Jersey Auto. Ben, there you go, man. Titans, his Titans. Um, I feel like there was like a, they would do replays of old home run derbies. Does that sound familiar to anybody? Where they would bring it would, it would be in black and white. They would get they would be in black and white. It seems like they were from the '60s, and they would like it would be like Mickey Mantle and like some other legend. They'll get them together on a weekend or something like that, and they tape them, uh, you know, doing a home run derby. So. Like, but they would replay that on like this week in baseball, or maybe somewhere, maybe as a segment or something like that. Is that right? Yeah, Scully's saying, "Oh, the players did it for money. It was the original home run derby at a one ninety nine." Yeah. Jay Ajayi for the Dolphins. There's Eric Berry. I thought that was gonna be like a parallel. It's not. A couple base cards. Another one. T J Watt. Behind T.J. Watt is an autograph, which is Josh Jones for the Packers. Ed with that one, 173 out of 199. Oh, right, yeah. Rick is saying, yeah, it was it was Mantle versus Aaron. Maybe that's what I remember seeing. There were some other players, too, that it would be like a whole thing. It was, it was awkward interviews during the other ones at bat. Right, and it would be like this... 
Jeremy McNichols triple relic, 44 out of 99. But it's this very like, uh, it was this very like 60s y sort of thing. You know, with like a very typical 60s y sort of, uh, sort of broadcaster, you know, in that sort of thing. Like, here's Mickey Mantle. Man, look at those arms. <laughs> you know, like, he could swing at a ton. And it'd be kind of cheesy like that. There you go. Yeah, okay. So I got to check that YouTube link that Scully just dropped. Episode 1, Mantle versus Maze. It went from 1959 to 1962. Kids, look. I'm serious. Look it up. It's, uh, it's pretty classic. I don't even know. I even probably haven't even thought about that for like two decades. Uh, 109 out of 199, Ryan Switzer. Josh Jones out of 299. A couple base cards. A Tariq Owen and Jake Butt. He's a tight end. 41 out of 49. Get it? <laughs> that goes to the Broncos. I know, I've done the joke for, for months now. Sam with the Broncos. Sam Roll with the Broncos. A little opposite Joe Mojo. Going oppo. Triple Relic for Ben. Nice. 48 out of 99, Corey Davis, Marcus Mariota, Derrick Henry. Seems to be the future right there. Illustrious to 99, Gronk. You guys uh, you guys remember that one game between the uh, the Raiders and the the Raiders and the Patriots? It was a regular season game. And every uh, the, the everyone who uh, scored was uh, a Kowski. So it was Rob Gronkowski, Sebastian Janikowski, and Steve Gotkowski were the only skis that uh, <laughs> that scored points in that game. Devontae Booker to 299, Sidney Jones to 75. Hoping Derek Carr comes back soon and healthy. And another Curtis Samuel, Jersey and Auto for the Panthers out of 199. That'll go to Lee Cheeseman and the Panthers. All right, three boxes to go, folks. Oh my God, Arthur, his truck, your driver's side ball joints broke. Okay, yeah, it was broke. Then he was driving at that point, and you were driving. And it broke your uh, steering link and power steering, cracked the control arm, so you couldn't steer. You went right to a fence. Pole. So you also have a grill and bumper to take care of, too. Hold you front. I'm glad you're okay. Could have been, could have been worse easily. All right, just a few boxes to go, folks. Oh, we're making pretty good time on this. I thought I was just chit-chatting too much, but then I realized no, this is only 33 minutes into this. Usually these breaks usually take me about 40 minutes, 40, 45. Uh, 40 out of 299. Mark Ingram, Saints. Kevin King to 199. Some base cards and some Davis Webb. Two out of five Davis Webb. That's a train whistle for the Giants. David Kist. There you go, Dave. Two color patch and auto. Hey, if, if the Giants season kept, keeps getting worse, you know, maybe they'll sit down, sit Eli down for a few weeks, you know, just to see what they have in this kid. Davis Webb. For David, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Got Carson Palmer to 199. We got Charles Harris to 299. Matt Ryan, Andrew Luck, a woozy, and look at this for Lena and the Rams. 21 out of 25. Luminous endorsements, Cooper Cup. Jay Cutler, Mitch Trubisky, Jordan Howard. I don't know why Jay Cutler's there. 37 out of 49. It's kind of weird. I guess maybe they couldn't find jerseys of, of Mike Lennon. 37 out of 49 team trios. 
That goes to the Bears. That'll be for Lee. All right. Two boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. All right, see you, Axel. All right, folks, I only see uh, an or one order coming in here, so if you want to keep breaking tonight, jaspyshobbyland.com is the place to be. Now, I know there's a big new release tomorrow, so I know maybe people might be kind of sitting on their wallets, saving up for manana, but if you want to do some stuff today, uh, I'd be more than happy to do so. Gerald Everett at a two ninety nine for the Rams. That'll go to Lena. We've got You Like That right here. Out of 199, Kirk Cousins. You like that going to Rodney? Oh, all right, Rick. Yeah, I'll do that. There you go, Arthur. Rick won the week in fantasy football for the uh, for the Jaspi Pick'em League, and he's donating his donating his uh, ten dollars break credit to you. Thanks, Rick. 52 out of 99, Juju Smith Schuster, Jersey and Auto. He might be merging, maybe. My fourth option or something like that. All right. So that goes to the Steelers, Adam Kupperman with that one. Kevin King to 199. Packers for Ed. Khalil Mack at a 299 for Rick. Tom Brady, Fitz, TJ Logan, and Jonathan Allen at a 99. 88 out of 99 for Rodney and the Redskins. We got Mac Hollins, another return of the Mac. 14 out of 49, Mac Hollins triple relic. For the Fly Eagles Fly, Lee Cheeseman with that. The Eagles, that is. With that. With that team. And the last box, and a bunch of randomizers, ladies and gentlemen. I guess fourth option for Big Ben, right? Yeah. The first three options of the other defense. And yeah, Big Ben, not, not looking good. Antonio Brown got his, though. So there you go, Antonio. All right, last box, last two packs. There's Garrett Bowles to 30, or to 75, 32 out of 75. TJ Logan to 299 for the Cardinals. Be for Ryan. Some base cards. Everything ships. You're getting all that. And there's some Titans. More Titans for Ben. Adoree Jackson. Nice. 80 out of 99. Titans with a solid break thus far. Oh, yeah. Reggie. There was a nice Colt. Anthony had the Colts, and he got this dual relic, dual auto. 3 out of 10. Frank Gore. And uh, and uh, Marlon Mack. For the Hawks, Mara Darbo, Russell Wilson, Tyler Lockett, 37 out of 99. Team Trios for the Seahawks. Lee Cheeseman with the Seahawks. And the last pack coming up. At a 299, Kelvin Benjamin. At a 199, Gary Ann Conley for the Raiders. And we've got mirrored right here, and that is uh, Buccaneers, Chris Godwin, Mike Evans. And the last hit is for the Jets, Adam Kupperman. 48 out of 49, our Darius Stewart. Nice one for the J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. There you have it, folks. That's the break. We've got a bunch of randomizers to do, one of which I believe is a train whistle randomizer. Yeah, there we go. And what we're going to do with these, we're just going to add all these points together and the top per the top spot will get all the points. I think that just makes it easier. All right, so let's do the out of 49s first and then we'll do the out of 25. So let's go back to the list. Let's pull up some random.org pages here, some tabs. Let's get some dice. One, two, three, four, five. I need five lists. 
one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, all right, Rick. We'll see you tomorrow, man. Thanks for hanging out. So the first one is Evan Ingram for the New York Football Giants and Gronk for the New England Patriots. Next is Deonta Foreman for the Texans and Ricky Williams for the Saints, New Orleans Saints. The out of 25 is uh, John Ross for the Bengals and then you got Deshaun Jackson for the Buccaneers. And the last one is a train whistle, C.J. Beathard and Kirk Cousins for the Redskins. And everybody gets a chance at getting all of those points. So we're doing winner take all for the points. All right, so here we go. Let's roll the dice. And we're randomizing every list six times, five and a one. Uh, let's do the points first so we can close with the train whistle. So five and one, winner take all on the points. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Six times. Name on top is, uh, no question about it, Lee. You'll get all those points. I think you would have gotten all the points anyway with the top three. So there you go. Six times, Lee with the points. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, New England will get this one. Patriots for Karen. You'll get this mirrored card, Karen. One out of 49. Next one. Six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, Saints. Saints. With that one, that's usually Karen, but I think someone else got him this time. Lee Cheeseman with the Saints, 14 out of 49 on this mirrored. The out of 25 is between the Bengals and the Bucks. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Stays with the Buccaneers. That goes to Lee has the Buccaneers. He's got a lot of teams in this. There you go. Out of 25 and Niners, that'll be Lee. And Rodney with the Redskins for the out of five mirrored card. Six times. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. Niners on top. Lee Cheeseman again with the Niners. And the train whistle, Lee. It's four out of five. Thanks for getting in, man. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! And that's it, folks. That was XR number seven from jazbeeshobbyland.com. We will have more, so check it out. We'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye.